This is Miami Day One. The Republicans decided to hold their convention south of the Mason-Dixon line. And I blew that one. Let's... <laughs> Pieces of the ceiling start flying, and then the whole thing started giving away. To help us extract meaning from these conventions, two of America's most eloquent commentators, William Buckley and Gore Vidal. Bill Buckley was the first modern conservative to see that ideological debates were cultural debates. Mr. Buckley, do you think miniskirts are in good taste? On you, I think they are. <laughs> the people at ABC asked him, well, is there anybody you wouldn't go on with? And he said, the only one I can think of is Gore Vidal. Gore Vidal is one of America's most successful and distinguished writers. We are all prostitutes in one sense or another, ethically, if not sexually. For Buckley, Vidal was the devil. I am a happy warrior. I'm in battle. I'm enjoying it. He represented everything that was going to moral hell. These were two visions of America clashing. Each thought that the other was quite dangerous. All this security makes me very nervous, because it's necessary, apparently. If Buckley were not taken out, his ideas would take down the nation. The country is being split at the seams. It's almost as if they were matter and antimatter. Say that again. Freedom breeds inequality. Now I'll say it a uh, third uh, time. No, yeah, twice is yeah. enough. He's always to the right and almost always in the wrong. I confess that anything complicated confuses Mr. Vidal. A grotesque example. Okay, uh, no. But somehow, shut up a He's nothing feigned. They really do despise one another. Now listen, you the writer, yeah. stop calling here. me a crypto Nazi. Let's, let's stop or calling I'll names. Stop you and in your get... goddamn face, and let's... you'll stay plastered. This is William F. Buckley Jr. in New York. Perfect. <laughs>